Bro, it seemed like every single time I shoot a video, I sit down, I chill, I do whatever. By the time I come back, Ryan Garcia done did some more bullshit, bro. He done did some more bullshit. This man leaked his goddamn his goddamn um conversation where he was asking about the goddamn ticket sales and pointed out that the tickets are not selling, that he think is too priced. And he wants them to drop the prices. And Devin Haney fired back on him because Ryan Garcia was wearing a uh, Devin Haney P. Diddy shirt. And Devin Haney fired back at him when he jumped in the arms of Eddie Reynoso. Um, so I guess they both calling each other very feminine and shit. Um, this press conference is going to be interesting, bro. It's going to be very, very interesting, bro. But let's talk about it. So, Ryan Garcia sent a message. He says, hey, give me an update on the ticket sales, please. Person wrote back, we've sold 1,600 tickets so far. Okay, and they're really expensive, geez. He said, talk to Lupe and Oscar. They set the price. They need to lower it. It's not affordable for the people. And then he put the caption, working on it. Ryan Garcia is a damn fool. First, I'm going to talk about him and Devin Haney going back and forth trolling each other. I don't care. That is what they should be doing, bro. Okay? And if I didn't tell you, smash the like, sub to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. If you want to debate, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. And I want to say thank you again to all our channel members. I got four more members only videos dropping for y'all tonight, but I got to get to this work now. The Diddy, the Diddy picture on the shirt trolling Devin Haney and shit with Devin Haney and Pete Diddy. And then Devin Haney showing him jumping up in Eddie Reynoso arms after he knocked out Luke Campbell and shit, bro. I'm cool with that. That is a phenomenal way to promote the fight. I need more of that. Devin Haney need to go find a picture of Ryan Garcia quitting and wear that bit. Wear, wear him on the t-shirt with him on the knee like Kaepernick, bro. I have no problem with that. I'm here for that. That's promoting. That's getting people talking about your fight the right way. That's getting people on board. But then Ryan Garcia, as he always does, bop, 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 shot himself in the goddamn foot. If you are going to complain to your promoter that's putting on a big fight, do that shit behind the scenes and keep it there. This new age generation of leaking the tweets and Twitter leaks, leakage just leak, leak, leak. It's great for a content creator like me, but it ain't a way to get no business done. It good for somebody like me, but it ain't a way to get no business done. It really ain't a good way to get no business done, because what do you do? You again, Ryan Garcia, letting people know that this fight ain't worth shit. You complaining about where they put the fight. You complaining about the date of the fight. You tried to push the fight back. Oscar De La Hoya is already fucking it up by having it on pay-per-view in America and making that shit free in the UK and everywhere else. And now on top of all of that, they obviously pricing tickets at a certain point to where they feel like they need to be able to make money off of y'all. And price this shit like y'all are the big stars they're trying to sell y'all ass. And you leak some messages basically saying, look, these tickets went on sold and we only sold 1600 Big fights, when they put them bitches on sale, they sell out immediately. And it's not just because of fans, but the scalpers buying them, trying to sell the shit on the secondary market. You know what I'm saying? The stub hubs, the, the uh, seat geeks and shit. They buy them bitches so they can try to sell them for a profit. The fact that they only sold $1,600 worth of tickets lets you know that StubHub and Seat Geeks and all these secondary ticket vendors are like, shit, we can't get no money off of this one. <laughs> we, can't, we can't try to make no money off of this one. We can't upcharge off of this one, so we're going to leave them where they at. And as a result, in an arena where they probably, I think they seat like 16,000, they done only sold 1,600 tickets so far, bro. 
and this is after one of their big press conferences. This is at, like it's it's just all bad, bro. It's all bad right now, dog. They may have to comp tickets just to make the arena look full, bro. And you yet again, Ryan Garcia, are letting people know that the shit ain't worth the money. They're too expensive. So people going people people had the ticket, got their wallet out. I ain't gonna show y'all my shit. Cause y'all some weird people, you know what I'm saying? Got their card out and shit. Not y'all watching this video, but it might be a troll, you know what I'm saying? Can't give you my information, but I had to pull the debit card out for a fact. But anyway, they, get, they, they, they had their debit card out and shit. They were just about to buy the tickets. And they look at Ryan Garcia. Well, shit, he said they too expensive. And they gonna drop the price. So, shit, I just ain't gonna buy none right now. I just ain't gonna buy none. I'm good. Ryan said they too expensive. Shit, he said he don't even think they should be in New York. He said he wished the fight was in Vegas. And now he's saying they selling the tickets for too much. You know what? Shit, I'm good. Leave that shit for the fans to complain about, bro. You supposed to be telling us why we should buy this shit, man. And what you going to do to Devin. And Devin need to be telling us what he going to do to you and how big the fight is and how much y'all going to put on, so forth and so on. And I'm going to keep documenting this shit because this is pathetic from Ryan Garcia. This is just the latest in a long line of I don't want this fight. I, I ain't feeling this fight. And y'all, please don't buy this fight. Him and Golden Boy are fucking things up. Let's count the ways, shall we? Number one, having a fight in New York when the fight is supposed to be over there on the West Coast because both of these young men built their fan base on the West Coast. Number two, from Golden Boy, putting this shit on pay-per-view in America and free everywhere else, letting the world know that you don't really think it's a big fight. You only put it on pay-per-view here in America to try to get money in America, but letting everybody else get that shit for free. If anything, charge everybody else and give it to America for free because shit, these are American fighters. Why you charging they home nation, but letting everybody else just come in off the back door and watch that shit. You hurt, but more so, fuck the patriotism because it's about money and shit. You supposed to try to maximize your profit earning ability. And your profit earning ability is the ability to be able to sell this in as many places as possible. You should be trying to sell this bitch in Mexico, America, Canada, UK, her K, they K, my K, everybody K, whatever. You probably trying to sell that shit. So they fucking up there. Then Ryan is fucking up. Number one, he complained like, leave that to me. Leave that to the boxing analysts and content creators such as myself and the fight fans to wonder why the hell is this fight in New York? You, Ryan Garcia, should be selling that shit. But what does he do? No. He says, fuck this shit. I'm trying to get this fight what it deserves and move it to Vegas. That was weird. Then he gets to the press conference and fucks it up again. Say, yeah, I mean, why would I not try to go to Vegas and uh, fight in Vegas on May 4th? So you admit that you was trying to push the fight back. Now people are like, well, he was trying to push the fight back. Should I buy these tickets? I don't even know if he's going to show the fuck up. And he was trying to fight on the day of Canelo. When we all know Canelo typically fights on May 4th. And this was him doing this shit before anybody knew that Canelo and the PBC and the zone was falling out or whatever the case may be. So again, were you really trying to fight, bro? Because you... You know they were going to tell you no on that day because that's Canelo Day. Like, so what the fuck is going on? And then after all that, but I love New York, though. Huh? Are you high, bro? And then he answers my question because that's what everybody thinks. That's what I'm thinking at the time. Are you high, bro? You drunk? The fuck is wrong with you? And then David Haney right there in his face like, hold on, bro. I smell the liquor on your breath. I smell the alcohol on your breath. So you are drunk. And then later that night, yeah, I'm high as fuck. I'm high as fuck. The great ones, man, they, are, they do worse things than what I'm doing. And you know. I'm high as fuck right now, bro. So you are high and drunk. Again, further cementing people like, yo, he ain't taking this shit serious. He just tried to push the fight back, complaining about where the venue is. And he just, he ain't taking this shit serious, drunk and high. I might well keep my money. Then fans is thinking about going to this motherfucker. It's like, shit, these ticket prices high in the motherfucker. And you just confirm it for him. Like, yeah, I knew I wasn't tripping. 
because they only sold 1,600 tickets, and even Ryan think they charging too much for him. How you think they charging too much for you? If I'm selling something, a product, because we're going to have merch on the channel one day, I'm not going to be trying to sell my merch by saying, yeah, I know I priced the shit too high, but buy it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know I know these t-shirts, I know these hats, you know what I'm saying? I know these hoodies, I know I got them, I know I, I got them too high. I know they ain't worth what I'm charging, but buy them anyway. That's what he doing, bro. <laughs> That's what he is doing, bro. When he, if he didn't like the ticket prices, if he didn't like what was going on, the thing to do is to privately have that conversation, get the business handled, get the tickets dropped so you can increase the sales of the, of the, of the, of the fight. You don't do this shit publicly because now you're causing fans to be like, well, shit, he don't think it's worth it. What the fuck? Like, all, I just talked for like three minutes straight, all facts of how Ryan Garcia is killing this goddamn fight. And killing the, the, the marketability of this fight, bro. I, I'm just... I'm baffled. I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this, bro. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Arnold Barboza Jr., be ready. That's all I can tell you. Be ready. Be ready, dog. Be ready. Devin Haney, I hate it for you, man. But y'all let me know if Ryan Garcia... Ryan Garcia say the tickets... Too expensive. And they are having trouble selling tickets. Ryan Garcia admitted that. Or nah, the person he was talking to admitted that. Damn, shit crazy. Let me know what y'all think. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel. See y'all soon. Peace out.